Hello again, it's Amy with Just a Little Ink. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. Um, I live out of Littleton, Colorado, and I'm here today to share with you um, a card I made for one of the recent swaps with some fellow demonstrators um, that I'm associated with. I'm calling it the Pampered Pets Gatefold card. It's got a nice creative um, folds, one we made in a team meeting um, just about a month ago, the layout. Um, and I've been wanting to use some of this beautiful, beautiful um, Playful Pets Designer Series paper, um, something that I am sure will be leaving um, the catalog here soon. The catalog is only good through the first part of May. And so let's get started. I'll show you um, how simple this card really is to make. So I'm going to be using the Playful Pets Designer Series paper. This is just the one sheet. I love all these dogs. There's a nice, beautiful stripe on the back side. And I'm not going to cut it out because I've already done it, but one of the dies that comes um, in the bundle will cut out these little Schnauzer dogs. Um, it's just adorable. You'll have to fussy cut all the others. But this, the dies coordinate with the Pampered Pets um, stamp set. So they will cut out these other bigger images as well as a couple little um, paw prints that you can do. I'm also going to be using the Sweet Ice Cream stamp set because I love the Happy Birthday. And so let me tell you about all the other um, measurements for the card that we're going to be making. So you need a piece of five and a half by eight and a half um, out of basic black and i'm scoring it two and an eighth inch on both sides and i have found i love my simply scored tool um, so i'm going to pull it up here and show you how simple this is i've already scored it but i want to show you so i'm going to be using the bigger end of the tool that comes and I'm going to come up to two and an eighth inches if my cardstock is all the way up and in the corner and I can come and come down and then turn and I'm going to do the same thing on this side all the way down. Makes for lots of quick scoring. Um, I use it all the time to score the centers of my um, cards I'm making. So then I'm going to fold this in and I'm going to fold this in. And what I found worked the best is if I kind of took them along those score lines and pushed to the center with my fingers without pushing here. And then I'm going to pull out my bone folder and I'm going to push it. And I'm going to turn it. I actually find it probably because I'm right handed. I'm going to turn it. Push this side again, making sure I'm lined up. Push here and here. And then I know that my card comes to that center um, exactly how I want it. So then I have cut two pieces. You notice they're one piece that I cut in half, but they are um, two and an, or excuse me, two inches by five and a quarter inches so that they fit on these fronts. A little tongue tied today. If you wanted it a little more busy, you could use the little dog bowls that are on that other side. But I really liked how the dark, the black on black with just the white words, I really liked how that looked. So I'm gonna attach my two pieces of designer series paper on the front of my card. Then I also want two pieces that are coordinating. This is, are these the same size? Look like they're almost for a minute they didn't. So these are two and a half inches by four inches. And I'm going to layer on them. Well, two pieces 
of designer series paper. These are the ones with the little paw prints from this same um, section. These are two and a quarter inches by three and three quarters of an inch so that I have a little bit of space going around um, my layer. I'm going to attach those to the fronts. You could make them as tight to the cardstock or as far away as you'd like. Depends on how much space you really want going around them. Like so. I also am going to have, again, I told you I've cut our dog out already. And I'm going to stamp, I'm going to be using our Memento ink. I just want a black ink, the little dog bowl. And then I'll cut it out. And when I do, I end up with just a black little dog bowl there. And on one of these pieces, I'm going to pull out my multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm going to attach my dog. Him along this edge. He fits just perfectly on the flap of this. But he needed his bowl. So then I'm going to... Lion glue today. So I'm going to put a little dog bowl right here in the front. Just a little bit of pop of color, fairly simple, not hard at all to do your stamping. So then I'm going to attach these to the front of my card. And so I only am going to attach here. So I'm going to turn it over and I found, I really liked the Stampin' Seal Plus for this application. It's a nice solid, um, <coughs> it's a nice solid adhesive that will hold with all of the turning that you'll be doing with um, a flap on a card. So I'm going to put it up in the corner. I will end up covering this section. I'll have to excuse my poor Yorkies. They love it to bark anytime UPS man shows up to the house. It's just a mess. So, and then this side goes on the opposite corner. So again, I'm going to use this stamp and seal plus, lining it up on the opposite end. Again, only on this flap here like so so then I have two sides that open then I need my greeting for the front and so what I'm using for my greeting for the front I think I put it away I need the one that says I hope your day is a real treat so we'll line it up and I'm going to stamp it again with the Memento ink. I just want a nice black ink. And it's needed on a piece of scrap big enough for this image. I'm going to cut it out using the Timeless Label Punch. I liked the shape of it. Um, it fits in here really well. And I just line up. Easier to see when I'm looking at it straight on. And then I want something to layer underneath. I thought this was just a little too bland. So I'm going to be using the one and a half inch circle punch just to punch a simple basic black um, circle. So just a piece of scrap. So I'm going to put in the back one run of some stamp and seal. I'm going to line up my circle behind it so that it pops behind. And then I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. I just need a couple of them. I don't need a lot. 
Those are what's coming on the front. So this will make a wonderful birthday card, I think. Twist a little bit. And then I need something for that inside. So I've got a couple options I'm going to talk about. So I really liked, I've got some real red ink. Again, I told you I really liked that happy birthday because I'm saying your day's a real treat as a birthday card. So I'm going to use the happy birthday image. Stamp it on the front, on the front, on the inside, at the upper part of the inside, like so. And then I want to put the little sitting dog. So one of the options would be, if you want a simple option, put my finger in stamp pads today, I'm using some basic gray. And you can then stamp him here, leave it like this, and not do anything more. That would make a really cute inside. However, what I thought I'd like is if I again came and I stamped that happy birthday image at the top of the inside again. And then I like to color. Some people don't like to color, and so I like to give you some options, especially if you're using that um, wonderful cardstock to use for the dog for the front. So I'm going to stamp my sitting dog in my memento ink. Like that on the front and then I'm going to color him in. I'm going to use the real red Stampin' Blends. I'm just using the dark to match the color that I have on the front and then I'm going to use my Smoky Slate Blends to come in and I can color here and then use the lighter to blend it out. Kind of like so. Color him in. I won't do all of it. And then I just took some of our um, crumb cake because you want him some, something to sit here and he's got some lines anyway. So I colored in on the base with the crumb cake. And when you're done, you go like this, and I can stick it on the inside of my card. So like so, line him up like that, and I have a finished fun little card. So thanks so much for joining me. Again, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd so appreciate it if you do that. And if you will click the bell, you'll get notifications for every time that I post a new um, video. And this month, um, I'm, my host code is right here, and I would so appreciate if you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love to be yours. Thanks so much. Next time.